Welcome to Crash Course number 42. I'm Sammy Shimona Hihi Aliyubi from the Eagle One Development Team. Uh, today we're going to be going over how to take uh, some of this uh, concrete that's bare and add some really quick trim. Okay, I'm going to turn this into its own object, then uh, we're going to turn it into a tile mesh, Control shift i uh, The tile mesh that we're going to look at here, Concrete Trim 01, is going to be our go-to. This is a fun one. It works in uh, units of eight, right? and I can just uh, quickly go ahead and I'm going to delete these. And uh, switching up to a 128 by 128, uh, I'm sorry, 128 by 32, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do my best right now to make sure that I create our tile mesh set. Now I'm just going to delete these. <clears throat> and uh, let me just go through and delete the rest of these parallel faces. And it's going to be an easy way for us to create these borders uh, without having uh, too much trepidation. So shift G, 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 G. G, 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 look how nice and easy that lines up. Okay, same thing over here. G, and then now we're done. Okay, wow, <clears throat> that was easy. Okay, same thing with the tops. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, all of these tops, uh, I'm actually going to delete them and uh, start fresh. If I try to turn them into a tile mesh, the reason why is um, you'll actually run into some issues where as you're trying to do a mass conversion, it doesn't always correctly give you the dimensions that you want. So I'm just reconstructing this manually uh, to be able for, uh, to get us to get this to work. And this is an example of it. See here, if I try to convert it, even with just one face, it doesn't work. So if that happens, delete it and go to these edges and let's drag it out manually. Okay. Now that works. Okay. So same thing. I'm going to hold down shift, double click, press T and just have one quick, massive amount of change. Hold down shift, drag it out. And then for these corners right here, I can just go ahead. If I spent more time, I can make this look correct. Uh, but right now I'm just going to go ahead and just quickly drag it out. All right, so there we go. We've added some uh, quick trim around here. It makes it really easy. What's nice is uh, when you add some fences to this quick trim, it really pops it out. We'll just go down to a grid size of eight, uh, especially because now it looks like it's really reinforced and it's got a little bit of depth to it. So I can just go ahead, bring this over here for right now. And then I'm just gonna multiply it a couple of times. Let's shift the grid size down just a little bit more and now we've added some quick trim already to the outside uh, with some fence and on the inside uh, now it's almost complete and if uh, the fences aren't quite lining up yeah you can uh we're gonna rotate them in a second here let me just go ahead right now though rotate this here uh, make sure i get the correct angles all right, and uh, like I said, I, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but it does still end up lining up pretty well for doing a quick job. Okay, now all the way across here, you'll notice that it's uh, not lining up as far as I'd like. Uh, we have here our gates that are uh, going through a little bit. So let me just back this up, you know, being the perfectionist I am. Let's make sure that it looks like it's on some sort of uniform platform there we go i'm just going to deselect these and then i'm going to scale this out just for now it's going to make sure everything else is going to be transformed uniformly and then let me just get out here and popping this out we'll finish out the rest of this all right so the trim on the concrete pillar allows me to quickly go through Make sure our gates are around here. Press Shift O. Okay, and uh, right now that trim with that gate really gives it some definition. I, I do want to go a step further though. Okay, uh, by taking the trim here. Okay, and let's go ahead and let's actually make uh, some, some interesting design changes. Uh, by quickly taking this, we'll extract this. Let's turn this into a tile mesh. Make this concrete trim. Okay, and... There we go. Now we can see it pop out. So let's pull this down. I like the trim to be as big as possible. In this case, 64 by 128 is going to be our go-to. Okay, so no big deal. I'm just going to take these faces on the sides, just delete them real fast. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is go around just like we've done before. And then Press Shift G all the way through. 
and then just make sure I continue to fill it out. Okay, for the underneath portion, no big deal. Just grab this, and we're just going to go ahead and create a new section of wall right there. All right, quick trim is finished. Now on the outside, this is starting to look much more like a canal. In just a few easy steps, we've added an entire border. And uh, all it is is just continuing to use the tile mesh sets that we've taken advantage of from the past. All right, uh, if I wanted to add more trim here on the sides, I could. But um, I think uh, we can go ahead and show that. Here, I can just uh, grab this. Let's pull it up. Maybe we only want it to be eight. I think that's quite excessive. There we go. Let's drag and pull it over and pull it down. Okay, so that's some trim right there. Okay, we can do the same thing over here. Select this, double click, hold down T, shift, shift it. And then one more time down and boom, we have our trim along the edge. Okay, and if I really wanted to make sure that this is uh, closed off for right now, I'm just going to close that okay, and uh, over here, let me just go ahead and make sure that I extend this one up as well. So I got to grab not that edge, but this edge, double click, grab that edge, hold shift up and around. And then let's just go ahead and just tidy up a little bit. Okay, so I hope you guys are uh, taking into account how tile meshes really make everything easy. So from the player's perspective, all of this looks like it's modeled, it's been textured individually. But you've just manipulated faces, and by doing so, you've been able to create something that looks much more realistic. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, we'll see you guys on our next Crash Course.